This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Howdy doody, I'm John Cullen. Howdy Bye. doody? Yes, what, what's wrong did with Did you that? say howdy doody? Yes, I did. Who are you? I'm John Cullum. Are you sure? From from East Tennessee. You sound like John from Kolumsky. <laughs> Kolumsky, that's Russian. Well, that's Are you me. Russian? Yes, and you're uh, Fralinsky? Are you uh, Frank Kelly? Frank Frank Kolumsky. Okay. No, but John. Yes, darling. I want to do a post for my blog, Ms. Talkery. Well, I'm sure we... And this is a heavy-duty we'll subject. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to talk about a parental sort of failure, disaster, that we recently experienced. What is that, Emily? Talk about the fact that our son, John David, yes. who lives in California, Absolute. who is an actor. Oh, that's right. We lived in California, too, so we know what that's like. Yes, we certainly do. And John David came for a visit. He yes. hasn't been here for a visit for a while. John uh, and I have visited John David in the house that we bought for him in North Hollywood, California, beautiful home. But he came for a visit. Is that the disaster we're going to talk about? Yes. The visit of our yes. son, our beloved son, yes. J.D.? our son, That was J. a disaster. D. He is an actor. Yes. And there's a great rapport between actor John Cullum and actor J.D. Cullum. Yes. Who doesn't use John Cullum's name. John Cullum had to ask equity for permission yes. for J.D. to use... The name Cullum. John Cullum. Okay. And he changed it to J.D. J.D. So <laughs> J.D. came for a visit and he brought his girlfriend. That's right. Well, you start with what they did. Well, they they came in, they hugged us all, and we all just had a good time. And, then, and we liked her a lot. Oh, yeah. And uh, we had to... J.D.'s... You better describe J.D.'s room where he was brought up. Well, J.D.'s room is about 9 by 15, it has a upper and lower deck with its little office for him. It has it high 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 fi. It has a high fi and books and phones and computer and, its and own a closet. Entrance. Its own entrance, yeah. but in terms of bringing a girlfriend there, it's there's a tiny little bit on top of a yeah, a, a, a ladder. Yeah. So they decided that they better really sleep and visit in what. My in your studio. studio. Now, and let me let me tell you about Emily's studio is sacrosanct, and I have to get permission in order to come in there myself. Well, John does come in sometimes and use the jogger, where he keeps in shape. Have more a or big, less. big, solid. But it's a dance studio, and it's for dancing. And I use it every day. I warm up in the morning between six and six thirty a.m. I need the mat in order to get my body moving every day, and I do it every day. That's right. I'll swear to that, because she, I, I hear her get up, and I can't drag myself out of bed at that time. And then I, there's a toilet there, and the, the studio has a part of it is a theater. That's it has right. theatrical lights. It's a big. It's a, about 50 by 25. Yeah, and it we, has an area with 65 seats, so it's also a theater. And we, But we haven't... Emily has made it to accommodate herself, uh, and we don't use it for theater very often, and she's taken the first two rows of the steps, and we have a big futon, which we fold over, and we put it on the first two steps, and Emily uses it for sleeping sometimes when I snore. Resting. Through, uh, oh. No, resting. For resting. Yes, sometimes I creep down during the night. John was about to tell you that when he snores too loud, I can always exit the bedroom and go to sleep downstairs. That's right. But it's it's very well laid out. Does not interfere with her studio, which is a lovely studio. And uh, has, you know, hi-fi. The big, kids took over my studio. They opened up the futon. They're on California time. Oh, and no. I get up and I couldn't get into my studio except well, with a flashlight. And the 6.30 was, would be 3.30 a.m. for them. Well, think about me. That's right. I like, had to do my exercise, and I can't do my exercise on a hardwood floor. I would get bruises from doing all the rollovers and things that I do. Yeah, well, that wasn't what disturbed you. I think that what disturbed you was the fact that J.D. complained about the fact that you woke him up. 
He did come. Yes, he did. Uh, came he didn't in and complain, out. but he just and then J D and the girl unpacked their things, and so they used the entire seating area. There'd be a box here and a piece of clothing there, and some books here. And J D has a guitar. He practices the guitar. His guitar stand was here, and then there's the food. Oh, he no. loves food and eats. Only the healthy food that's been determined by nuts and fruits and oh, berries and Trader Joe's things. And he went shopping in Trader Joe's here and took our big refrigerator. We have a 25 foot capacity Sorry. refrigerator. Which we keep pretty well stocked. Yes, we do. And JD moved everything over and loaded it with JD food. No. I went. And you, you had a very good. You ordered Chinese food the first day. Huge order of Chinese food the first day. And that would usually last us about five days. And it was gone by the next anyway, day. Anyway, <laughs> all I wanted to say, because I don't want to keep on going on and on and on and on complaining. All right, I'm not going to go on. That's so for let's sure. finish this Whatever. by saying what? If you're a parent and your son comes for a visit, or your daughter comes for a visit, any of your offspring come, brace yourself, you could be in for a deadly time. That's a right. A disaster. Give him love, but let him go. <laughs> all right? Thank you, John. You're welcome, Em. We'll see you all next week. So long. This is AIR. See you next week. <laughs>